junkin' pool over here in Porville. What is that over here? Pretty full there. Hey, picking up some more goodies today. That's some kind of a flamethrower, apparently. It may be a pressure washer. I don't know. It looks like... Maybe not. It looks like it might have been hot at one time. Anyway, these are aluminum sheets here. Three or four of them on there. Most of that, some of that's tin. Empty burning barrels are pretty much empty. like a new injection pump or something. Maybe some of these older sometimes. Another builder. Got a lot of hydraulic not a hydraulic hose. Put the old Chevy to work. Today. So we probably got another. Some of that lead. We probably got a couple more loads over there. Still got the engine to get. Uh. So we sold the Volkswagen. Maybe I mentioned that before. I guess I did. And we sold a, a fuel oil furnace. Had her on here for a while. Didn't really have a use for it. Just taking up real estate. Something this box is kind of heavy for some Some hinges on here. Old covered hinges, probably brass. bunch of these plugs. Yeah, I can use these in the bus. I have got other ones around. Yeah, I can't figure out why that was 
so heavy. These must be for your lines going in here, one way or the other. Put it back in that bag. Anybody knows what that come off of, let me know. We know it's an injection pump to something. I don't think it's to that motor over there. That's got one on it. Now there's a bolt for your, your universal joint. A lot of short iron. A whole bunch of old fan belts, look like some snowmobile belts or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go out back and load it to see what's going on in here. It's fun digging through this stuff, but it's time time consuming. Thought I could make me some extensions for my forks with this for the wheel loader, but it don't look like it'd be big enough to get the fork in there. That's about 10 foot long, maybe. I'm not sure what all we got in here. We just kind of toss and go. There's some copper tubing in here. A couple pieces of that. Yeah, we got a couple more loads out of there. There's a big, what is that, 18 horse engine right there. Twin cylinder. I've actually sold these four for 80, 90 bucks if I get them running. Pretty easy to sell. Probably could get more in that or less, I don't know. So yeah, there's a couple things, but I guess I got them buried to good stuff. I just thought I'd do a a little bit of update on this job we're tackling over here. Some weld rod there. It's probably dried up. And miscellaneous stuff we added to this. So yeah, I'll probably be over there next week grabbing the engine and finishing up on this little job and getting it done. Then I'll get back to cleaning my yard now that I got it Getting all cluttered again. Put that two horse motor there on the computer. There's another one over here I might try to put on there. Kind of get an idea what they go for. Generally we, if something's 200 bucks, we put it for 100. If it's in decent shape, put about 50% of new price. Just a quick video. Hope everybody's having a good day. Oh, that's for a, a door on a track. There's two pieces there. Go find a project. Or not. Goodbye now. Junk and Fool over here in Porville. Goodbye.